Hello again. Today is my first drawing in a series of ink tense drawings that I will do to practice up for entering the Derwent Art Prize. It is a competition that takes place almost every year and I figured it would be a good motivator to enter this year. I'm using the Derwent Ink Tense pencils. This is the 36 set, but I'm only really using a few pencils from the set, specifically white, willow, bark, charcoal gray, Indian ink, and ink black. As you will see, I mostly use ink black and charcoal for this drawing. The subject is my youngest son. As this is just to help me practice, I am not aiming for perfection. More, I am aiming for speed, and at the same time, I am playing around with some ideas in my head. I've used the outliner they provide to trace in some lines. That worked well. I have attempted to pre-stretch my watercolor paper. That didn't go as well. But as I don't use much water, there was only small amounts of buckling. For the 36 set, you have charcoal gray, ink black, and Indian ink for the dark tone colors. The way I like to distinguish between them is ink black is just pure black. Indian ink seems to have more of a brown tone to it, while charcoal gray has more of a blue tone. So I started with charcoal gray in the hair and switched to ink black. I used a bit of Indian ink on the jacket and then put that away. For the remainder of the drawing, I used ink black except for parts of the jacket where I layered charcoal gray over ink black. This was mostly to have a different look to the clothing than the skin. And of course I use willow and bark for the eyes. Now I originally made the pupil far too big, but one thing about ink tents, you can often wet a brush and remove some of the ink even after it dries. It doesn't always work, usually only if it hasn't really soaked into the paper. I was then able to make the pupil smaller. I quite enjoyed doing this little drawing. For one, it didn't take that long. From start to finish, it was probably about four hours, whereas a colored pencil drawing will usually take me more than 15 hours. Sometimes it is nice to work on a little section at a time, but I also find it rewarding to spend a few hours on a drawing and have a good grasp of what the final product will look like. I have gone over and lightened up a few sections with the white pencil. Normally I would use the white ink tense block for this, but I wanted to limit myself to just using the 36 set of ink tense pencils. If you have a 24 set, you have all the pencils you need. It doesn't come with the Indian ink, but it really wasn't necessary. Towards the end, I determined I wasn't going to get the details I wanted. So I pulled out my Lyra Rembrandt colored pencils and used the black to fill in the details. This was mostly around the eyes, a bit of the nose, the mouth, and finally the eyebrows and eyelashes. For the Derwent Art Prize, I can only use Derwent products. I don't have Derwent colored pencils and have no plans to purchase them. I've tried them out in the store and don't like the feel of them. But I could pick up a black pencil if it's required for details. My other options are to make the drawing bigger. A larger drawing means I could get in more detail using the paintbrush. It would however take a lot longer and be more costly to frame. But before I get too carried away, I will probably need to spend more time practicing first. I hope you enjoyed the drawing. I know I did. And that's all for now. I hope to be back in two weeks with another intense drawing. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.